Missouri Star Quilt is arguably the most successful and popular quilt company out there. Having started off as a side hustle to help pay the bills, they've managed to create a legacy of their own. In my eyes, Jenny Doan is a literal quilting queen. Safe to say that they are experts when it comes to all things quilting. In today's video, we're going to cover the mistakes made by experienced quilters and also give quilt recommendations coming from the likes of Jenny Doan herself. So if this is something that interests you, make sure that you watch the video till the end. Let's get started. With practice comes perfection, but also a tinge of carelessness and arrogance. Sometimes even the best people make mistakes, but that's okay as long as we're learning from them. Let's look at some common mistakes that experienced quilters make. Calculating Quilt Binding Needs While the showstopper of a quilt is always the top, people tend to neglect the backing used. Be it measuring how much backing is needed or selecting the fabric for backing, it is important to know that backing can either make or break a quilt and is equally essential. So when choosing the backing for your quilt, make sure to measure your top and keep in mind that the backing needs to be bigger than the top. If you know that one single fabric won't be sufficient, join two fabrics together and make sure to take half an extra inch to compensate for the seams. The best fabric recommended for backing a quilt is quilting cotton. Seam ripping When we make a mistake while quilting such as sewing the wrong sides together, or using squares that aren't similar in size, which leads to uneven edges, etc., our first instinct is to either improvise or keep the fabrics as they are and somehow try to undo the damage. While people might be skeptical about seam ripping, remember, the seam ripper is your friend. There are different kinds available in the market. If you're someone who likes efficient tools, there are seam rippers which have magnifying glasses and lights attached for ease of use. Natalie from Missouri Star Quilt says her favorite seam ripper is the clover. She uses it to slide the blade between both the fabrics, catch the seam, and later, it becomes easy to slide the blade through the fabric to remove the thread. It also helps to rip some seams at regular intervals in the beginning so that you don't get caught in between. Squaring up quilt blocks this step may seem rather straightforward and easy, also kind of monotonous and boring, but note that it is a very, very crucial step. If all of your quilt blocks have been squared up accurately and the seams are right, your quilt will turn out beautifully. At the same time, even as much as a quarter of inch difference in a square can lead to the end pattern looking uneven and shabby, and in some cases, one might need to add more fabric in order to undo the mistake. Experienced quilters sometimes might overlook this step because it's so easy and they've probably done it a hundred times before, but that can lead to errors that could have been easily avoided. Natalie's advice is to use a ruler with a 45 degree line so that you can mark all the edges evenly. Cutting, yardage, and pre-cuts. Sometimes we might overlook the fact that a quilt is crooked. When this happens, it becomes harder to cut strips that are straight and they end up being bent too. One needs to be very accurate while cutting fabrics. Fabric is usually a bit crooked towards the raw end, so the ideal practice would be to straighten out the crooked end before you begin cutting the fabric. Pressing the fabric beforehand also helps because it straightens out the wrinkles. If you're looking for new quilting projects and seem to be running out of ideas, don't worry, we got you. I highly recommend checking out Missouri Star Quilt Company's YouTube channel where they frequently post quilting tutorials for quilters of all levels. They also have other series such as Quilting 101 and The Final Stitch where they provide insights and tips with respect to each step of the quilting process. I've gone through their channel and put together a list of quilts that would be best suitable for experienced quilters looking for new ideas. The Corner Star Quilt Mr. Bones Halloween Quilt Disappearing Hourglass Hidden Stars Quilt Storm at Sea Tsunami Quilt if you want something more innovative, the people at Missouri Star Quilt also venture into making bags, pillowcases, and wall decor with quilting fabric, so that's something you can check out too. Are you an experienced quilter? If so, what are some mistakes that you find yourself making often? Do you like the practices adopted by the Missouri Star Quilt Company and the people behind it? Do let us know in the comments below. If you liked today's video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon to ensure you never miss an update from us. That's all for today, folks. See you in the next video.